Hello, a very good evening to all. This is Ashley Verma, an intern with Lexis and Company. And today in this video, I will be dealing with a case named Sushila Agrawal versus State NCT of Delhi. Citation of the case is Criminal Appellate Jurisdiction uh, SLP, uh, Criminal Number uh, 7281 of 2017. It was appealed in the Supreme Court of India. The bench consists of Justice Arun Mishra, Justice Indra Banerjee, and Justice M.R. Shah, Justice Ravindra. And the date of the judgment is 29 January 2020. Head notes of the case include Section 376, 354, 354A, 354B, 506 of IPC, and Section 6 of uh, Protection of Children and uh, from Sexual Offenses Act 2012. Facts of the case are following. Uh, this case that is uh, Sushila Agrawal versus State of N uh, NCT of Delhi arises from the final judgment and the order of, uh, order in the case of Neetu Agrawal versus State. The case uh, pertains to the year of 2012. Further, uh, brief facts of, uh, of the case were uh, that the petitioner that is Neetu Agrawal being the second wife of the father, uh, father of the complainant that is the daughter S and M's na uh, names withheld uh, uh, age about um, 17 years and age about 23 years respectively uh, from the first wife. So these were the daughters that is S and M, Sushila and uh, Sushila Agrawal. Yeah, uh, uh, from the first wife and was alleged to bring home uh, her male friend and uh, complainant have uh, seen her with such a friend uh, of her in indecent condition and posture. After knowing the complainant, uh, after knowing the complainants, uh, know of it, the petitioner along with her male friend threatened uh, them not to disclose it to her husband. On the other hand, there have been allegations uh, against the petitioner's male friend and uh, his father of touching the complainants to sexually har uh, sexually harass them and use of force to disrobe the. Uh, to dis disrobe them along with rape in the instant matter uh, in this instant matter the FIR was filed uh, by the two sisters in the year 2017 uh, under section 376 354 and 354a 354b and 506 of IPC section 6 of uh, uh, protection of children from sexual uh, offenses act 2012 against the petitioner her male friend and his father uh, at PS Sabzi Mandi Delhi so issues of the case are, uh, there are two issues. First is whether the protection granted to a person under section 3, uh, 438 CRPC uh, should be limited to a fixed period to, in, uh, to enable the person to surrender before the trial court and seek regular bail. And the second issue is whether uh, uh, the life of the anticipatory uh, bail, should, uh, bail should be uh, end at the time uh, and stage when the accused is summoned by the court. So these were the two issues. Uh, if we talk about the judgment, the judge has following judge, uh, the, ju the judgment are as follows: On 29th uh, January 2020, the five judges bench of the Supreme Court uh, held the held that the anticipatory bail should not be uh, time bound and can be granted to an accused till the conclusion of the trial. Further, uh, the court finally settled the controversy uh, by concluding that there is no limitation on the on the life of the anticipatory bail. If the court does not put the same uh, down while uh, while granting the said anticipatory bail, further the court must look into the uh, into the into uh, the matter from the fact of the cases to cases. Uh, should have reason to believe that there is an apprehension of an arrest of the concerned person and put the condition uh, conditions it deems fit to be applied to the granting of the uh, bail anticipatory bail. There is no such limitation on the anticipatory bail as per the statute, but uh, the same is entirely uh, the discretion of the court. Further, the court let uh, the court let down the following points that has to be kept in mind while uh, granting of the anticipatory bail under Section 438 uh, of CRPC. The first point is when a person uh, complains of the amp uh, apprehension of arrest and approaches for order. Uh, the application should be uh, based on the uh, concrete facts such as relating to the offence and uh, why the application reasonably apprehends arrest as well as uh, his side of story and not vague or general uh, allegation relatable to one or the other uh, specific offence. 
The second is uh, application for anticipatory will should be filed by a person before the FIR. That is the first information report. As soon as the facts make uh, make it clear, uh, there is a sus uh, substantial uh, reason for the arrest. The third point is, depending on the seriousness of the threat of arrest, the court should issue a notice to the public prosecutor and obtain facts even while grant, uh, granting limited entry, uh, uh, anticipatory bail. The fourth point is, the court held, uh, held that nothing in uh, section 3, 8, uh, 438 of CRPC compels or obliges, uh, obliges the court to impose conditions limiting uh, relief in terms of time or upon filing of FIR or recording of statement of witness. The court has a discretion while granting the anticipatory bail. The fifth point is uh, anticipatory bail can be continued after filing of, of charge sheet till the end of the trial. Further, uh, sixth point is uh, an order granting of anticipatory bail cannot be operated cannot operate in respect of a future in, uh, incident that involves commission of an offence and thus should not be uh, should uh, should not be a blanket order. Uh, seventh. The anticipatory bail does not uh, in any manner restrict or limit the restrictions or duties of the police uh, or the investigating agency. Eighth point is, uh, sorry, the ni ninth point is, the correctness of an anticipatory bail order is uh, open to the consider uh, considered by uh, by an appellate or a supervised uh, superior court on the request of the investigating agency or the state and, and the order may be set aside on the ground of non-consideration of material facts uh, and crucial circumstances. D uh, doing so uh, does not amount to the cancellation of the order but is rather equivalent to setting aside of the bail. So these are the points that the court has to be kept in, uh, has to kept, uh, keep in mind. The Supreme Court rightly held that section 348 uh, cannot be uh, time bound and thus gave uh, rest to a long standing question on the period of the order of grant, uh, granting of anticipatory bill. So this was it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you so much.